No, no, go down. What the hell? Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Looks like the only way down is to jump. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> I think I needed to hit the boxes. Looks like the only way down is to jump. This is gonna hurt. God damn it! So our goal is to get back to the rover, right? Which I'm pretty sure is not going to be even there. Oh. Oh. I don't even need air. Why am I doing this? There could be something right behind me. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Missing power cell. Uh. I think I can make that jump. Should I risk it? Do I ha I think I have to. Maybe. Unless I can, like, take this thing down. Nah, I'm going for it. There it is, the meerkat. There it is. Oh fuck! Close! Come on! Come on! Come on! Declan? Shane! Oh, shit! Shane! You're all right! Fuck. First good news in a while. Declan, there is something at the base. It's some kind of... alien. A, a monster. We know. Lucas said it had something to do with Volkova's research, so I don't think we can claim credit for discovering aliens. You saw it? Shane, we got emergencies upon emergencies right now. The Cyrano fell out of the sky like a rock. Oh my god. I didn't want to believe it. I'm with Josie and the Meerkat heading out to the crash site to look for survivors. Lucas volunteered to stay behind at the base, but it's in really bad shape, man. The mangrove tree? Its roots are everywhere. Taking over. All right. What can I do? Lucas said he had a pretty good idea what happened and a way to stop it at the source. 
Find Lucas and help him. He should be in the research lab. I'm glad you're all right, man. Please, stay that way. It's very convenient the way I'm just missing everybody. Just barely missing everybody and only talking to them through comms. It makes... It further makes me think that... That I really don't know what's actually happening. <laughs> okay. Lucas. Lucas. Of course no response. Huh? Oh, come on. I just came through here. The tree is taking over the base. Oh. oh. Exploding flowers. The base looks really cool taking over like this. I know this isn't where I'm supposed to go, but kind of want to check over here a little, a little bit. Eh. Do they recharge? They do. I don't think I can go through there. Looks like a lot of blood. A lot of blood. Lucas was definitely here. He analyzed a sample of the roots. Locked out. It is worse than I had expected. Naturally, as soon as I saw what happened, I attempted to retrieve my notes and fabricate a counter agent. Ina must have anticipated my interference, as when I arrived to the door, an impenetrable root system and fleshy polyp blocked my pathway. It seemed as though the vociferous plant sensed my presence. I was barely able to extricate myself from the encounter. However, I acquired a small tissue sample from my boot after wrestling it from one of the vines. The analyzer identified a temporary counter agent which I set to producing immediately. The vines are becoming more and more aggressive. I hope a Z-series injector is sturdy enough to pierce the roots. I must return to the laboratory in haste. Without a proper way to reverse this reckless experiment, the base will not withstand this assault. I'd warned Dr. Vakulva about this exact type of incident. Her ambition, unbridled by the constraints of moral values, has become her undoing. The limitless potential of the Z pathogen clouded her judgment, and within that mental malaise, the passionate spirit that once embodied her waking hours has physically manifested throughout the base in a mangled cacophony of mangrove roots and filth. Damn, Lucas, those are some long sentences. I haven't read... Like... I haven't read anything more than a couple very small pieces of H.P. Lovecraft quite a long time ago. But uh, the way Lucas writes strikes me as very similar to what I remember from Lovecraft's writing. Basically, very complicated and needlessly long sentences. Forward controls our Arbomore. This is why I insisted on protocols and procedures to avoid a situation exactly like this one. You know, what have you done? Analyze analyzing samples. It's the recipe for a plant poison. Well, if Lucas thought it would do something to the tree, I should do the same. I need to find and mix different vials at the centrifuge. This is so silly, but like, fuck yeah, I want to mix some magical space juice. Kill some alien vines. Medbay log, Van Buren. Uh, just accidents that have happened over time. Mm. I don't know if this has any significance at all. 
but the ones at the bottom are from quite a while ago. Um, I was treated for a, a minor fungal infection, cream prescribed, Delapore, um, minor seam tear in suit, Delapore supplement, Wilcox supplement, me supplement. Nothing really significant there. Um, triazolam. Triazolam was prescribed to both Wilcox and Van Buren. I don't know what that actually is. Oh, it seems to be a pretty serious drug, actually. According to Wikipedia, triazolam is a central nervous system depressant tranquilizer in the blah blah blah. Uh, possesses pharmacological properties similar to those of other benzo... Uh, anyway, that's not important. <laughs> it is generally only used as a sedative to treat severe insomnia. In addition to the hypnotic properties, triazolam's am amnesic, anxiolytic sedative and anticonvulsant and muscle relaxant properties are pronounced as well. So, yeah, it's a serious sedative. Van I don't know what today's date is exactly. But these are from a very recent time, I think, the top ones. Uh, Van Buren had a, seemed like a pretty small dose, 0 0.5. Uh, at least small compared to Wilcox, who had 5 milligrams. That's 10 times as much as Van Buren. Van Buren. So you gave yourself a sedative? A small amount of sedative? Why? I don't know. Man, I don't like that. What's in the vent? Or what came out of the vent? Oh, is that the Z-series thing? That they were hoping could penetrate a root? Injection gun empty. Empty injection gun requires a vial to function. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, here's some of the ingredients I need. This could be useful. It doesn't even have a name on the label. What, what is it? Oh, fuck. Disgusting. There's a lot of these to get. That's the biohazard button. Slam, slam, slam. at here the right on the right is the mixture that I'm creating or have created on the left is the recipe there's a bunch of figures there though I don't know if any of those are significant I'm rotating but I don't think that matters given that I have nothing mixed in there right now there's like AF1 AF4 AF5 AF5 is selected but I can't seem to change that so I think it's I, I don't think I need to do anything with the recipe um. Wow, is this how you make a recipe to stop alien roots? What a weird convoluted system. That is even, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Whew. That was actually surprisingly tough. That did it.
Declan, a little hope. Lucas is AWOL, but he was working on a poison. I've got the compound to test out. Not much but scorched metals and detritus out here. I'd start cataloging, but we're not salvaging. We're walking around a crime scene. All right, let's try out this poison. <laughs> nice. What the hell? <laughs> oh no. God damn it. Lucas. Declan. Lucas is dead. Lucas is fucking dead. Oh god, no. He's completely covered in that black fluid. It's everywhere. Pulsing. It's it's on the walls, on the floor. It's it's like it knew. Hey, hey, hey. Breathe, Shane. You're not going to die. Nobody else is going to die. We just have to keep going. I feel like I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I can't deal with this. God, they look disgusting. Oh my god. They sorta look alive. Sorta. I'm not sure why... I'm not sure why Shane's biggest concern is Lucas. I mean, I know why they are concerned about him, but also shadow creatures just ran away. Look like they might come and tear my eyes out any second. I'd also be concerned about them. Lucas, Mission Control wants you to crunch some numbers on a potential... Wait. We've already read this. Yeah, we've already read this. Maybe it's significant now. I mean, it does mention some numbers, diameters, and how many hours their days are, or something like that. <laughs> That's not important. Yeah, just all the stuff we read here before is still here. Is this my actual mission? Inspect Lucas's PC terminal in the research lab. And locate the vial. Counter agent. Something terrible has happened to Ina. She calls out to me. I can hear her taunting. Her voice echoing through the halls. I know I can convince her. I have to. Chemical... Valley 9928B. I'll need the improved counter agent. Mauna Loa hybrid. Dr. Volkova, one of the hybrid samples, Mauna Loa hybrid, I clipped from the new specimens is especially dangerous. When it blooms, it expels a noxious cloud. Initially, I assumed these were spores of some kind, but aside from a mucousy residue with a chemical composition of saliva, the cloud dissipates quickly. Analysis of the gas shows high levels of tetra. Tetra, tetra, de doxin, tetra de toxin. From the small clippings I took, the neurotoxin is not strong enough to cause more than nausea and discomfort. But from a full grown plant up close, the effects could be fatal. He coded a bio gauge script. Lucas and Ina both knew this could happen. Dr. Volkova, to follow up, I've attached a simple biogauge script designed to combat exposure to the poison released by the hybrid bloom. Please download for your safety. Oh, this is what Lucas talked to us about. Downloading for us automatically, right? Good idea, Lucas. Thanks for doing that. The bloom reflex is triggered when an organism comes into close proximity. Alternatively, a pulse of high frequency sound can also trigger the reflex prematurely, allowing the gas to dissipate before approaching. For the time being, I took the initiative to pull these plants from the hydroponics wheel so we can talk. Biogauge Software script. updated, not Orochi certified, but if Lucas was correct, a quick scan with the biogauge should trigger the plant's bloom with a high frequency pulse. Ah. A final gift. I hope it was worth it. Now I can try to craft the stronger poison. That's amazing. Now I can find a way into the greenhouse. Thank you, Dr. Van Buren. 
I should head back to the infirmary and synthesize the stronger poison. I'll bust them open, but I still can't get through here. The other way, though, back there, I think I could get through if I busted the flowers. But I'll need to use the centrifuge again. Yeah, let's do this first. So, ah, we have a completely new recipe. Well, let's just. Let's just take all these out then. It's very satisfying to spin this thing and gently remove each glass vial. With a little tink. Okay, so to keep this thing balanced, I have to either complete this recipe with... with either three, four, or six vials. And what's the combo... Oh, it just infinitely scrolls. I don't know which one is which. That's weird. Anyway, uh, the bottom one needs three. So which ones touch the bottom one? I, I'm not going to know when the list ends again. This, that, this. Am I starting over? Man, I don't know. Hell if I know. Um, I think I just need to start experimenting. Let's just, um, given how many I need to press, let's assume this is going to be one that requires four. So, what's going to another that touches the bottom? All right, um, I, actually, it'd be good to use this one. This would make the, this would make the bottom one red and also the top left one red, which needs to be red. Now I want one that hits the bottom. Another one that hits the bottom and isn't going to mess anything else up. This would... Uh, this would be good. Yeah. Actually, is that the recipe? Oh shit, that is the recipe. So I can do it in three. Okay, I just need to reorganize these. Oh, I gotta make sure I don't forget which one is which. This is the one that hits those three that are highlighted. You know, those three. Those three will go here. I think it goes on the bottom automatically. And this is the one that hits those two. Eh. Eh. Yeah, it goes on the bottom. There we go. Declan, I have what I need. I'm going into the greenhouse, though I'm not sure what to do from there. Uh, dump the poison in the water reclaimer? The reclaimer would... No, you're on the right track. I need to hit it at the source. If I can get to the water filtration system, inject it there, the whole system is poisoned. It could work. Shouldn't have activated that so close. <laughs> so satisfying. Whoa. Made it angry. So satisfying the way it just explodes violently. It's just a short EVA to the airlock at the back of the greenhouse. Declan, there's no helmet in this airlock. And the only way to the greenhouse is from the outside. The hell? Okay, what about the other airlocks? They're completely overgrown. Two seconds, door opening. Approximately 50 meters. Another two seconds, atmosphere. Ten seconds. Oh, shit. I know what you're thinking, but I can't... Your earplugs will prevent your drums from rupturing. Exhale completely. You'll have to sprint. 
It's only minus 19 Celsius and no risk of frostbite. It's theoretically possible. This is the worst idea ever. Well, let's go. Check in. I'm here. Uh, I'm freezing. Headache is back. My ears are ringing. I should be dead. Jesus, slow down. Fuck, catch your breath, please. Are you good? Tell me you're good. Can you walk at least? I'm still standing. Hoping I'm not going into shock. Uh, I lost 40 years in 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll, we'll get you looked at as soon as we can. Hang in there. It's gotten worse, Declan. Way worse. I'm going to the water purifiers. I hope it'll be enough. Okay, well, after what you just did, you better fucking kill that thing. Oh my god, what is that? Looks like a big eye. Backside is a smoldering mess, and we don't really have the time or the equipment to search through all this. Are you all right? Yeah. Bar sucks. That hatch will get me where I need to go. There are two filtration tanks down here. Gotta inject them both. We'll see if it works. Was hoping that would weaken them at least. It's probably gonna piss it off. Whoa. 
Declan, it really didn't like that. The poison is already polluting the water supply. Oh, that's a win. Now get up to the environmental control console and dump the entire reservoir on that bastard. Uh, Shane, we found something. Josie saw a door along the escarpment near the crash site. She wants to check it out. A door? Carved out of the cliff. It's massive. I told her we need the recon with you, but she's fixated on this. Orochi has secrets upon secrets. It, it is Orochi, right? Apparently, we're going to find out. Oh, the root that was here left. Or tentacle, whatever it is. Alright. Surely nothing will go horribly wrong the second time I use this. <laughs> 